welcome back. I thought I'd do an early summer roundup of what's new and exciting in beauty. I've got a discount code, which is very exciting. And this is part of my partnership with Rodeal, so it does contain some sponsored content from Rodeal. Um, but I've got lots of other brands to talk about as well. So let's begin. Let's start with the fact that my favorite range from Rodeal, the vitamin C range, has been extended. And I've got some exciting products to tell you about. I've also got code Nadine30 to get 30% off the entire vitamin C range. So let's dive straight in. Uh, you know I've talked about the vitamin C range before. I love the idea of layering uh, medium strengths and low strengths vitamin C on throughout the day and throughout the evening. And at this time of year, especially when pollution levels are high, it really protects your skin. And it brightens your skin as well, which means that you can protect your skin from uh, sun damage to a degree and then brighten it come the end of the summer if you have sun damage. I'm looking at you, side eye. Anyway, let's talk about the new products. Let's start with what I think is the hero product and how cool is this packaging. This is the Rodial Vitamin C Glow Tonic. And the reason I love it is because it's designed to be used after cleansing, two or three times a week. I would probably leave it on overnight. This is just me, that's the way I like to use my acids. It's vitamin C, but it's also got glycolic, lactic, and salicylic, which is basically the triumvirate of the best three acids you can use for all skin types. It means it's gonna help clear out your pores, it's going to, the lactic acid is going to hydrate, and the glycolic acid is also going to resurface. It's really, really lovely. Also, can I just say, best packaging ever, you put your pad, on the top, you push down and then you wipe it. It doesn't go everywhere. You don't waste anything. It's a lovely product. I also just think that's probably the coolest looking uh, glow tonic to have been launched recently. Uh, it's a real hero product. However, one of the things I also like to do in summer is I like to lighten up my, my heavier weight sort of overnight creams to what I call gel textures, but that Rodeal calls souffles, which I quite like. They have uh, the new vitamin C Rodeal face souffle, and they've also got an eye souffle as well. Um, it smells gorgeous. It smells uh, of white flowers, very slightly citrusy white flowers. And this is just such a lovely texture. Super light, goes in really easily, hydrates beautifully, no stickiness loaded with hydrating humectant ingredients and vitamin C. It's just that perfect take on holiday with you, fly with it, just sinks into your skin in seconds. It's an absolute pleasure to use. The eye version, you pat around the eye and it cools the eye instantly as well to take out any puffiness. Um, they're just that's a really nice duo, that is. There are other products as well within the range. Uh, there's, uh, God, it, you see, it's really funny. When I first started with, working with Rodeal about nine months ago, I feel like the vitamin C range was the unsung hero within the range. But obviously it is super popular because it's just extending and extending and extending. And I think that's always a good sign. There's an SPF 30, a super lightweight SPF 30 gel cream um, SPF. It's more of an everyday moisturizer SPF because bearing in mind, as I said in my videos, you're probably not gonna get an SPF 30 out of it because you're simply not gonna apply enough of it. This isn't Rodeo's fault. This isn't anybody that makes a daily SPF's fault. It's the fault of the people that designed the SPF tests because it has to go on very thickly. However, there's nothing wrong with layering SPFs on. So this would probably give you an SPF 15 if you put it on as a normal sort of serum gel moisturizer. You could put your moisturizer on top. You could put another SPF on top. It's just lovely. It's really nice. Um, there are uh, vitamin C uh, booster drops as well. And the reason I like these is because all of these are sitting at a relatively low level of vitamin C. However, the idea is if you layer them up, you're going to get a much higher percentage. Well, you can add this to everything. You can add this to your eye souffle, your face souffle, your SPF. You could add this to your normal moisturizer. You could add this to your night cream. This is how you add vitamin C every step of the way. And it's it's just really cleverly done. It's a vitamin C complex. So it's a complex of different forms of vitamin C to make it as stable and easy to use as, as possible. You could technically actually just drop it into your hands and dab it over your face as well, but it's going to work better if you combine it with something like the souffle or the vitamin C. 30% off the entire range, not just the new products, the entire range by using code capital letters N-A-D-I-N-3-0. Um, and I'm going to add that, I'm going to put all the links to the products down below and I'm going to add the code as well. And it'll also be on my Instagram page as well. So well done Rodeal on that. 
oh, smell heavenly, a sort of, do you know what it smells like? It smells like those amazing eau fraiches that you get when you land in somewhere like Greece or Turkey or Spain, and they use them everywhere and you get this soft, white, floral, citrusy smell. Super subtle, just an absolute pleasure to use. If they made a vitamin C body spray, I'd use that as well. Are you listening, Rodial? <laughs> anyway, that's my take on the new Rodial vitamin C products. You know I'm a fan anyway. Let's have a look at other new and exciting things for summer, the beginning part of summer. And I want to start with Charlotte Tilbury, who has launched, um, look at these, Hollywood Lips too. I'm sure you've seen them everywhere. You know, You'll see swatches everywhere as well. There are 10 shades, each named after a famous person in these incredible packaging. The interesting thing about them is they're an extension of the Hollywood lip, so they're that they are actually in different finishes. Some of them have got a slight sort of shimmer to them. Some of them have got a, a matte finish to them. There's a clear lip balm as well, hydrating lip balm. I love the new packaging. Each one is refillable. Uh, which means that you can choose the packaging of your choice and refill it in time. They're all slightly animal printy, so I love them. So if you look at them, most of them have got a sort of name added to them. So for example, there is a glowing gen for Jennifer Aniston, which is a sort of perfect neutral colour. There's a Patsy Red, which is named after uh, Charlotte's mum, Patsy, who's amazing. She makes Patsy out of ab fab look boring, trust me. Uh, there's one for Alessandra Ambrosia. There's one for Susan Sarandon, which is in the leopard print. I mean, they're just a great range. The reason I want to shout out to them is because yes. Charlotte is um, going to donate one million pounds to Women for Women. That is an amazing charity that helps to empower women around the world who've been victims of war. Um, and that they go to war zones all over the world um, and they just basically empower, re-educate women, get women back into society if they've been a victim of war. So I'm going to put all the details down below. They are amazing. I absolutely love them. Now, one of them here, I've brought mine back down again and my, I've got a couple of favourites. Obviously, I'm a I'm a nude person, so that makes me quite boring. Um, and now I have to find my one that I've been using. I do like the Jennifer Aniston one. I think it's quite nice. Um, but here's mine. This is the one I've been wearing. JK Magic, named after JK Rowling. It's the most beautiful, neutral, soft colour. I've actually only got balm on my lips at the moment, but let me show you it. It's that sort of trendy, cool, peachy nude. I really, really like it. And in fact, if you uh, have problems with quite matte lipsticks, I quite like it combined with a lip balm, which is this was, that was just a Bobbi Brown lip balm underneath it. Anyway, Charlotte Tilbury goes from strength to strength. More importantly, she's supporting women to make them stronger too via the Women for Women network. Thumbs up all round. I really like it. Other products that are new and exciting, I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have my eyebrows on. And there's a reason for that, because I'm gonna show you what I am loving at the moment. And I didn't think I'd like it because I'm a lazy minimum effort, maximum results girl, but I am loving the new Glossier Brow Flick. The Bro Glossier Brow Flick looks like this when it comes in its packaging. This is the one I've been using. I am, I'm gonna be the lightest shade, I tell you that for nothing, I'm blonde. And it's one of those, can you see that? That is a uh, sort of felt tip pen. Now, when you see this being used on, let me show you up there. When you see this being used on Instagram, on brunettes, you can see them individually painting eyebrows in. I've tried to master that. I'm not saying I'm very good at it. So let's watch a complete doofus do it, shall we? But I want to show you the difference because I'm gonna do one eyebrow. Uh, so I am going to use those stroke that you see everybody do. And I'm actually, what I'm doing, and I go both ways, which is very naughty. What I'm doing is filling in where the micro blading. So then I go straight to the middle like that. And then it's the tails where my micro blading has either failed or starting to fade or hasn't really taken. Didn't go from my top up. You know, it was a disaster, my micro blading. I need to go and see Nez Hassan who is the lady that does Nick, Sam and Nick Chapman. 
Anyway, supposedly on top of that, you need the brow gel, but I'm not using the brow gel. I'm just using that. Now look, let's get this straight here, right? I'm no Sam or Nick Chapman, right? I wish I was, but how quick was that? And you see, it's just filled in the bit here, the arch there and the end. One brow done, one brow not done, one brow done, one brow not done. If I can use it, it's idiot proof. That's all I'm saying. I like it. Uh, it comes in a range of shades. There's the little glossier clear gel that you put over the top if you want. I don't need it. My eyebrows tend not to be kind of, they don't grow in different directions. And I think that's really easy to use. And also it lasts throughout the day. It doesn't come off like the powders that I've traditionally used. So there you go. There's one eyebrow. I like it. I'm gonna finish this whole thing with just one eyebrow done. The other thing I want to say is generally, as much as I pour over them and adore them, I don't use palettes because they're just too big to carry anywhere and you don't like shades in them. And so I love all those huge long palettes with like 20 different colors in them. I give them away, I keep them and I give them away to people because they make such a, they're a bit, a bit like the makeup equivalent of candles. Nobody's ever gonna open a palette and go, oh, I don't like that. They're just beautiful. However, for me, I don't use them. I'm really boring. I tend to use the same color shades, but oh my God, NARS might just change my mind. And you know why? One, because I, know, I love NARS. Two, because they've miniaturized them. Look at that. There isn't a shade in there you would not use, right? And I think that's really clever. So that's the sort of warmer shades, which I'm not attracted to, but I should use. And they're the shades I absolutely love. So they've got two new palettes for summer. They're a mix of shimmer and matte shades. Uh, and they've each got six different shades in them. So you get a matte that I would use for a liner. That shade I'd use um, as my shadow. And then I'd use that sort of as a highlighter in the corner. And these, actually I'd probably put that in my brows as well. Anyway, NARS, you're killing it on the palette front, but also look, that's the size of a blusher palette. That's the size of my NARS Orgasm Stroke Free Soul Stroke Bumpy Ride palette. So you can go anywhere with it. You can travel with these on holiday. They're easy to use. NARS, NARS, NARS. I'm loving your palettes right now. Uh, now, a lot of you asked me to review this, so I thought I would. This is the new Ordinary Salicylic 2% mask for blemish prone skin. I do not have blemish prone skin. However, at this time of year, even my skin breaks out. It was 35 degrees at the weekend. It was disgusting. It was hot and sticky and revolting and bleh, just not nice. So I decided I'm gonna give this to Jo to try as well because she's gonna love it. Uh, I thought I'd try the salicylic mask. 2% is not particularly strong. It's what I'd leave on all my skin overnight. However, this is 2% in a sort of clay, black formulation, there you go. So it dries, it hardens, it's got clay in it, so it's got, it's drawing the sebum out of your pores at the same time as the salicylic is going in and sweeping up afterwards. Teenagers are gonna love it. I only would use it on my nose and my chin, which is where I get even a tendency to blackheads. Um, the reason it's nice is because a salicylic has to work overnight this works in you know under 30 minutes. So it works much more quickly. However, it's never gonna replace a 2% salicylic overnight. You know me, I've got a video coming up talking about this. I like my acids left on overnight so they really get to work. There you go. I like it though. I think it's a great one for teenagers. I think it's a great one for anybody with congested skin. It's a great one for anybody that just likes that old fashioned clay mud drying mask. Although I sneakily suspect people only make these to be big, big on Instagram. <laughs> you have to wash it off, by the way. You can't peel it off. It dries, it tightens, and then you wash it off. And then finally, with my grubby, dirty, mask-ridden hands, I want to give a quick shout-out to Colab Shampoo. You know Colab Shampoos uh, by, uh, by my mate, Ruth. Yes, I'm biased. That's the original one. Anyway, there's one that I have been using more this year, and I tell you why, well, I, when I say this year, I mean literally in the last month, I tell you why. You know I'm going through a, trying not to wash my hair so much, trying to not heat dry my hair, trying not to blow dry my hair, trying to let it recover slowly and steadily because it is damaged. I really like the Dry Shampoo Active. Now, there are two things about this. One, it's designed for sweaty heads. 
<laughs> I think it's probably designed for people that work out more. I just <laughs> sweat when I sleep. <laughs> what a freak. Two, it smells like heaven. This is by far and away the most sophisticated grown up scent from Colab. Oh, smells gorgeous. Really reminds me actually of the Kristin S bodybuilding spray that I love. So you could use it in that way as well. So you can use it for, just to get rid of that sort of slight morning stickiness and sweatiness out of the back of your head. Obviously, if you work out, it works as well. Um, to me, I love it because the best smell ever. Ruth, if you ever turn that into a fragrance, I would wear it as well. There you go. That is what's new and exciting in beauty for July. So the beginning of summer rather than the end of summer. But I think all of them are things that you could take away with you, raising money for great causes, little mini palettes, beautiful brightening anti-pollution skincare for a long hot summer, um, light formulation moisturizers, a nice discount code for uh, Rodial, great active sweaty head <laughs> shampoos, and masks if you have summer breakouts. If SPF, is causing you to break out, which mine often does, on my chin, that's a great one. I've actually just let that dry and wash that off and my skin is super smooth, super exfoliated, super clean, like really clean. Um, and the Glossier Boy, Boy Brow, uh, the Glossier um, Brow Flick is just a nice one because actually for me, it was swim proof when I was on holiday as well. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. They are my best early summer beauty picks. And because they're so popular, I'm going to do another one again, probably in September. So things to kind of cheer you up when all the kids go back to school and it's the end of the summer. Or if you're lucky enough, you're taking your summer holidays then. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you soon.